And for some reason, when you try to take videos on camera, anytime you turn on the camera, I don't know if this ever happened to you, by the way, if you're somebody that's tried to record yourself on camera, maybe for social media or something like that, and you have your script, right? You have your full script. You know exactly what you're going to say. You're really passionate about this. You talk about it all the time. Every single day at work, you're constantly talking about it, right? And the moment the camera turns on, you go, uh, uh, you freeze, right? It's almost like you get some kind of a stage fright. And I've been trying to make sense of this because the way I see this is this. I believe we're going into some really serious times of uncertainty. I believe if you're somebody that's in the business world, you know what I'm about to say is really true. Your brand, your network, right? Your, your social currency, that's the way we're going to operate in the future. Your attention is the new currency. And your ability to create massive attention and create great attention fully depends on your ability to be able to get on, t on camera and be able to be authentically yourself, right? Because that's the truth. Eventually, what's, what's happening right now is that it's optimizing towards perfection, which perfection is being able to naturally get on camera and be yourself. And the closest to perfection right now, I'd say, is maybe like, like Alex Hormozzi, for example. That's like one of the closest to perfection when it comes to being able to get on camera and just be authentically yourself. And I've been trying to get to that point for a while, right? Because I know a lot of the shit that he says. And every time he talks, I'm like, yo, I think the same shit. He, I should be as him, right? I should, <laughs> this is just stupid. I should be as big as him or whatever. That's what I think. And I'm like, but I can't fucking talk. I can't talk in front of the camera for some reason. So I found out what it is. It's called imposter syndrome. And if you look at my content up until three days ago, I could not, like, I couldn't figure it out, man. I couldn't figure it out. Up until three days ago, I was really, really close to losing my fucking mind, man. I was really, really close to hitting rock bottom, if you know what I mean. I was really close to, whew, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Because I felt like my whole life dream, all I wanted to do was this be this big entrepreneur and I've gained all the knowledge, I've had the experience, I've done the work, I am ready, I'm ready to be that person that people can look up to and I can mentor people because I wanted to be one of those people. I also wanted to be one of those like Tony Robbins guys or whatever. I, I wasn't ever going to be as tall as him, but maybe I'll get that raspy voice. I think I'm getting it now. But the truth is I wanted to do that and I knew that the only way that would ever happen in the new world of business is if I was able to get on camera. And I've been trying for years and it wasn't until last Friday that it finally clicked. It finally clicked and what I'm gonna do is I am gonna document everything that I did to get to that point. <sighs> and here's the good thing. Anytime I've ever dealt with anything in my life, I've really, really done whatever I could to problem solve it myself, meaning I didn't depend too much on other people. So it made me really good at problem solving within myself. I got a lot of answers. If you're somebody that's struggling with this, stay looking at my content, follow me or subscribe. I'm not going to sell anything to anybody either because I... I don't want to. I don't need to. I, I'm good. I'm good with my financial state right now and I'm good where I'm at in my life. I don't want to push anything anymore. I just want to provide sincere value to the world because that's what the world deserves. We're going into some really, really serious times of uncertainty and like the truth is we should be helping each other, right? We should be using these tools, which is one of my strong beliefs is everybody's going B2B when it comes to uh, when it comes to automation, when it comes to artificial intelligence, and nobody's taking care of the employees, right? I, I feel we should use these tools for good, not for greed, but for good. And the way we use it for good is by helping everybody and giving out the information that people need. So I am going to share a lot of information now that this curse is broken. And if you're somebody that is struggling with this, I'm going to be talking about it a lot because I have a lot of answers around this. Thanks for watching my content. Appreciate you guys. Peace.